a jackalope brewing company here in Nashville, Tennessee, with an in-person, live, human guest, Scotty oh, McCreary. This is crazy. I know. I haven't seen anybody in like six months. This is so great. It feels like it's been so long, so thank you for uh, having me, even though we feel so far apart. This I know. Is, this, this is, is great. This is like so incredibly far apart, but we have to be safe, right? We've got to do the distancing. Safety first. So, hey, right off the bat, congrats are in order in between made a huge leap to number one. In fact, this is very significant because it's one of only a couple songs to make such a giant leap on the country airplay charts in almost 30 years. You've got to be feeling great about this. Yeah, that was pretty incredible. It was a fun ride with In Between, and it's a song that means a lot to me. We wrote it back in 2015, and I've loved it every day since then. So I'm glad I got a chance on the charts, and for it to get all the way up there was uh, pretty pretty special. Yeah, it did take 63 weeks, I think. Not that I was counting or anything. <laughs> well, I was. <laughs> I'll tell you. Well, I'm thinking that there are pros and cons to this. I mean, it basically means you had one song on radio for over a year, and that is very unusual. But, yeah, talk to us about some of the pros and cons. Yeah, I mean, pros are people get to live with the song. They get to really, uh, I mean, they're driving to work, they're hearing it. it. It really becomes a part of their lives over a year. Uh, the, the main cons are, I mean, we got a lot of music that I'm, like, excited about. Yeah. I, I want to get it out there. So I'd love to put out three or four songs a year, you know, kind of like the old days. But uh, it's just not how things are working nowadays. But as long as we get to put music out there and, and people enjoy it, that's, that's all that matters. Well, you guys did have a nice big celebration to celebrate it going number one. How many bottles of champagne were involved? Oh, uh, there were uh, there were quite a few bottles of champagne. It, it took going to like three different stores because the champagne the, there was there was champagne to spray and champagne to drink. So two different types, but uh, there was a there was a lot. We cleaned them out. More importantly, I want to know how I can get one of those matching Scotty T-shirts. Oh yeah. Gabi made those. She was up in our studio, like, would not let me come in there all day, and she was ironing on these pictures on white t-shirts, and uh, everybody had a big time with them, so, yeah. All right, got more with Scotty coming up right now. Back to the countdown. We are back again on Hot 20 with Scotty McCreary, who is on a roll at radio. In fact, three number ones in a row. But I want to take this moment to give you some serious props for not giving up at a time when things, it kind of dried up for like four years before five more minutes. But you didn't throw in the towel. I mean, you just, you kept going. Talk to me about that time. Yeah, you know, I mean, life's not always going to be great. You know, there's going to be bumps in the road, uh, mountains and valleys. So uh, definitely 2016 for me was not a fun year at all, to say the least. And, uh, you know, changing record deals and man, all sorts of stuff. So. But for me, you know, the way I was raised, uh, when life gets tough, you know, the tough get going. And so you got to pull yourself up by the bootstraps and figure out a way forward. So um, surrounding myself with great people, it takes a village. I I've got a great management team, an incredible label with Triple Tigers and um, people that really just believe in me and the music. And we all work so well together. So we came out of it all right. But yeah, it was, uh, wasn't so great there for a little while. Well, you probably came out of it as an even better artist. I'm sure you just appreciate everything so much more now. Oh, yeah. I mean, especially just kind of the way I got started and everything just thrown in there. It was all so much. It was crazy at yeah. first. But to go through that and to really learn what it takes to get a song to the top, because I've never had a number one before five more minutes. And that was always my biggest goal. Uh, and so to get it after going through all that and with a song like that that means so much to me, it, it was uh, it really did teach me a lot and showed me a lot about myself. So how does it feel? Three number ones in a row. Oh, uh, that's pretty insane. <laughs> that's, that's hard yeah. to do. It's it's crazy. Radio's been, you know, such great friends over the years. And so um, this music has been never been more personal for me. I'm writing about my life. I'm writing about my wife, just what we're going through. And so um, the fact that they've embraced it and embraced us, uh, it, it means a lot. But what about new music? I know you're writing all the time. Where does that stand? We're working on it. We're, we're working away. We're in the studio right now. You know, uh, COVID can't stop the new music being made. So uh, we've got a lot of the album done. So we're uh, we're getting close. We'll have a new single out hopefully uh, this fall and um, the new album to follow that. All right. More with Scotty coming up right now. Back to the company here in Nashville with our buddy Scotty McCreary and I want to say congratulations on your two-year anniversary to Thank wife you. Gabby. Thank oh my gosh two much. years where did it go it's like that. Time flies I tell you we've been having a blast so um she is just incredible it's been so much fun doing life with her uh, it's my best friend and uh she makes me a better man so I, I'm uh looking forward for 
many, many more to come. Yeah, I love it. It's like a Hallmark commercial. <laughs> How did you guys celebrate the anniversary? Um, we had a big breakfast, though. We made waffles and bacon and eggs, uh, mimosas. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, we made some chocolate covered, homemade chocolate covered strawberries. It's kind of a project. You know, you can't just put the chocolate in the microwave. You got to do it. <laughs> Gotta do it right, so uh, that was that was fun. That's kind of sexy. Well, you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what have you learned in two years of marriage that you didn't know before? Oh my goodness. Um, well, you gotta clean your sinks of your toothpaste, the, the extra stuff. That that's a no go with the wife. She doesn't like that. Um, but no, I don't know. I, I I think I've just learned that life is is so much more fun. You know, doing it with a partner and somebody you love, and uh, just going on adventures. And I mean, I, I thought. Life was great before, and then I, you know, got to do it with Gabby. So, uh, yeah, she's she's awesome. That's awesome. And of course, you guys have known each other for a long time. It's not like you got married overnight, but no. still, you know, marriage is different. Living with someone is different. Oh, yeah. Lockdown is different. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anything eye-opening about that being, you know, together all the time? That's been the major difference for sure. I mean, I, I think we'd just gotten used to seeing each other a couple of days a week, and that was kind of our life, and we were fine with it. Um, but I mean, I always I, I love seeing her. She's very much probably ready for me to get back on the road. I, I'm loving it as far as seeing her every day. But it's been great. I mean, there are positives to take out of being able to have this time. We'll never have it again. Yeah. So we're trying to embrace it and enjoy our time together. If you get on her nerves, just go here, honey. I made you chocolate covered chocolate strawberries. Chocolate covered strawberries. Oh, I got extra fine. chocolate. There's more strawberries. Where, where totally that fine. came from? <laughs> All right. There's more Scotty where that came from right now. Back to the countdown. <laughs> Welcome back to Hot 20 Countdown, where we are wrapping things up with our buddy, Scotty McCreary. And, you know, we've done some fun things over the years. Uh, leisurely wine drinking, competitive axe throwing. Absolutely. You know, I am pretty competitive. I'll tell you, I know. I am going to suggest we do a little shuffleboard today. What do you think? Ooh, I like it. I yeah. like it. Okay, now, I've never done this before, but, you know, I'm competitive, so I expect to be good from the get-go. All right, you want to go first? Uh, I got it. Okay. Wait, no. <laughs> See how you want to play. <laughs> All right. Oh man. Oh, 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 oh. just barely. Got a little too mad. Yeah, yeah, bring it back down. There. Bring it back down. <laughs> okay, this is yeah, I'm not it's not okay. I can do it, I can do it in heels. <laughs> That's true. Stop, stop, oh, stop. Man. Really? Really? <laughs> Oh, Scooter. Scooter went it went into bud. So so far we're not professionals. Alright. How can I knock all three of yours off in one go? You can have. You can have. Sure. Check this out. Check this out. Wow. Don't play Going dirty. To the angle. <laughs> oh, oh, you're all around me. <laughs> okay. Apparently I'm no good at shuffleboard. I think we go back to drinking wine. <laughs> 